Welcome, everybody, to Adventures of Lord Ormory Martin, Paramount of the Crownlands. I've removed the one-eyed trait, given that he's blinded. Everyone quite rightly pointed out that those aren't supposed to uh, work together. So I've gone ahead and sorted that problem out. A lot of people are very concerned about the Targaryen bloodline going completely missing. But to be honest, I, I had a look into it. Um, if we go over to our wife here, who, because she's a bastard, I don't know, again, how she's inherited it. She shouldn't have, but she has. If we get to the Targaryen bloodline, there's still plenty of characters left with it kicking around here. Um... The majority of them as well, House Martin, and all of them, if, if they're not House Martin, are bastards of House Martins. We've got Sir Darren Snow here, um, who is the half-brother of our... Can I, like, rise him up to... Can we see if we can get him to court? What about that? He's, he's a member of the Targaryen bloodline, blood of the creator. He's another one of the many sons of whoever it was we banished from that watch. Was it this guy? Had a shitload of sons. Um, when obviously he's not supposed to, they're side a bunch of bastards, which are now sort of our Oberyn might be the best way to phrase it. Um, all right, let's go back to her then. So it was her brother, um, or is he Darren, commander of Kingsgrave. It's going to be quite difficult to get him to court then, and if he's a commander, um, send him a gift. Let's see if we can bring him over. I want to arrange him a decent marriage. He's also a genius too, which is absolutely incredible. He will join our court. Oh, look at that. Okay. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, I would love to raise you to nobility first and foremost. Darren... Newell, and then let's give him an... What do you think? Marry him off to Hallison Cockshaw? Um, I bet she is. Let's find out. Okay, there we go. Um, so Hallison Cockshaw married him, so his bloodline should now pass along. We'll have to test it, because these bloodlines are supposed to be like matrilineal transfer, um, patrilineal inheritance, but as we can see, that's clearly not the case at all, given that, I mean, bastards cannot inherit. This guy's literally a bastard, so we'll see his offspring with her, how they end up, see if they end up getting the bloodlines um, carrying on, despite the game rules being a little bit strange. Also, what the hell's wrong with the... Oh, they've got the symbol of Dragonstone. How strange. Raymond Bar Emmon. That's another weird house. I've never seen that before. House Bar Emmon. Whoa. All right, then. Um, So, Dragonstone is back to being ours, then. We've got a decent retinue built up here. I think I, we maxed it out at the end of yesterday. Um, yeah, 3,100 uh, out of 3,200 of our retinue cap, giving us a, a total of however many troops, 3,500 overall. We're ready to go to war. We're ready to go to war. I think we're, we're probably about ready to kick around uh, the the Baratheons, take back what is ours. The Paramount Kendall the Young, but I still want to go for the Trident. That's still the big goal, and I would love to, before the end of today, manage to get back the rest of the Trident lands. We can see, kind of, with that with that border there, what is supposed to be ours. So it's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six different claims fabricated. We've got a... Still got 100% chance. I might have gone a little bit overzealous because the Game of Thrones one allows you to adjust in the rules how fast claims fabricate. Might have been a little overzealous with that, but we've always had the best diplomats possible on our council as well. So um, it's kind of a win-win, really. And then I'm going to very quickly go through this whole list and make sure they are married off. Um, you've got Harmon Snow, another one of the many bastards from the wall. Can we bring him, send him a gift, and then see if we can invite him to court? No. Um, oh, no reason to move him. Base reluctance is quite low. Can we do anything else at all? He's got 100 opinion. There's not much I can do there, unfortunately. Unless we crack out the George powers. Still no. Oh, come on. Let's put him down a special interest, then. I would love to get that guy to court. I am holding a feast here. Um, one of our family members died, and we had to hold a funeral for him. But I figured we'd take advantage of it to, to go for a full-blown feast, just to ensure that that was... Uh, just to ensure, really, that we're keeping our vassal opinion decently high. So you've got Holly Smartin and Poe and, uh, Poe and Kindling, I should say, a, a, a cadet dynasty there, who somehow also ended up with both bloodlines, despite the fact... Oh, shit, well, his if his father is a bastard and pass down both bloodlines, then that other guy that we married off, Darren, should pass on both of his bloodlines too. Oh, wow. Okay. So this time I went ahead, you know, the event where we said, we'll go ahead, these voices sound foreign. We didn't get the option of the smith or the trader this time. We had the option of buying books. Um, Fires of the Freehold to help with dragon taming chance. We've got World of Ice and Fire, or we've got Signs and Portents. I have no idea which one is worth buying. Um, they're all 100 gold, so they're actually quite expensive. Did we get that? Um, World of Ice and Fire... We need to be... Oh, right, because we're blind. We can't read them. I don't know what I expected, really. Well, I guess there's something for the future generations. Really, I should try and have a lot more feasts as well, because it looks as if they might offer us a way to to gain... Um, I'll also try these some um, effects. We haven't actually done that yet. Um, it, it looks as if they also offer us a way to gain good vassal opinion. 
um, like random courtiers, low-born courtiers with no land or anything can come up to you and say that a, a certain vassal has done something wrong. You can rule in favor of the vassal. Sure, it might make Zabatra or something like that, but uh, it's a great way for gaining a little bit more opinion. I should also mark going to Tora's special interest as well. Decisions seem to be in a, all, all over the place this time around. Um, okay, well, let's see what some affairs have to offer. They've changed fees, so maybe they've also made some adjustments here. So... It was pointed out as well in the comment section that we lost our alliance with the Vale because of a death. However, <laughs> apparently that solved that issue, although it's Nice and it's very, it's very distant. Oh, never mind. He's up for an alliance anyway. Hey, that's really cool. Great work. And it was just a success. I didn't get any options whatsoever. We just increased our prosperity. We're not already at max. We're only at level two. Wow. I guess that's probably because of the, the winters being a consistent thing. And then we'll hold a grand tournament. Um, oh, my kinsman Durham Martin has died. A uh, small private funeral. Can't afford another one right now. Thank you. What do you want? Uh, a favor? Uh, I assume that's what the Kingsguard wanted as well. We are still on the council, by the way. The, um, the, what is it called? The small, is it, they call it the small council? God, I, ever since, genuinely, ever since ever, ever, Game of Thrones season 8 ended, all of my knowledge of Game of Thrones has just completely disappeared from my mind. Um, what's it called? Is it called the small council? The small chamber? Something like that. The best part of preparing a feast is deciding what food stuff to serve. Let's go. Balls to the wall. This is part of the tournament. Oh, you get, get the feast, then you get the tournament. Or the other way around. I forget which one it is. Um, can we join in? I mean, we are a formidable fighter and a knight. Uh, the issue is we're blinded, so I'm not sure if we're allowed to... Oh, here we go. Lord Viserys is not guilty. Uh, please dig in, my lords, and then... Even if a septon frowns uh, upon jugglings called Gleam and I enjoy their humorous and body extra in this summer fair. Um, okay. One of them can juggle nine apples at a time. If it says, if they says anything, dot, dot, dot. Uh, if a septon does not like it, should I really like it? So we can improve the relations with our septon or just gain some prestige. I guess we'll try and impress this guy a little bit. Oh, here we are. Rosby has been destroyed. Oh, shit. What? Rosby has recently been destroyed by a coastal storm, and people of the town who must pay a fee for customs levied at the port request that Lord Paramount discharge the petitioners from their fees. What do you mean, Rosby has been destroyed? That's a hell of a way to tell me about that. Okay. Um, storm hit gives... Uh, you know what? I'm more than happy to say I forgive the fees. Game th th Look, it's, it's either that or we gain a shitload of build time modifier. The, the taxes that we gain back is worth dropping the 30 gold, in my opinion. Oh, God, this ended up being so expensive. Please help me. Um, Mathos, do you have any bloodlines? He does, okay, thank god I checked um, I'll find him someone nice Arrange marriage him to a Let's see if we can dig him up more Again, more genius characters Let's keep our bloodline as powerful as possible here Let's go more genius uh, Married, no Diplo range, preferably Gender, women, sort by age um, Well, we've got plenty of options here We'll start at the younger ones Bethany Corsia in Whitecrest She's very good she had some really, really impressive traits there. Um, excuse me, I want to send you a gift. Or not. Um, or, or not. Hang on. Bethany? Oh, right, we're 129. Okay. I could I could throw her a book, I guess. Or, or throw her something. Um, no, I'm not throwing her any of this. Get out of here. Right, I'll just mark her as special interest. Come back to her in a minute. Fine, Joust is all of them. I'll watch every tilt, or perhaps I can place a bet. Um, I don't really care about the... Uh, I, I don't really care about that, to be honest with you. My lodge make a point. I know how to smooth this over because of high diplomacy. And... Oh... My lord, I have proof L Lucas, one of the participants in the tournament, is cheating. The rivalry between Andrew and the supposed cheater as well, but I can't imagine Andrew will lie about something this serious. I need more proof than your words. I agree. I think that's a sensible thing to do here, and we'll seek redressing if he's going to allow us to have more of our King's Landing vassals. Um, because we're part, again, I'll, I'll just reiterate, we are, this is part of the Crownlands du jour, so we should have King's Landing and all of the vassals, which is what we're... He gave us... Did that say he gave us Flea Bottom? Really? King's Landing, Flea Bottom? Hubbard? Oh, no. Okay, he didn't. Okay, sorry about that. I misread that. Perkin Martin. This is our grandson, correct? Uh, she is... I should really deal with his his wife. We should really deal with her and, and swap her out for, you know, maybe someone of slightly better stock. Um, Perkin. Fine. I, I need to come up with that. I need to go and grab that naming scheme. So I sort of decided, let's go for the naming scheme of... Of famous authors. I actually was sent a list on Discord by Seth so I need to make sure I drag that up before next time. Otherwise, these characters, they don't really have much. I, I always feel like naming characters gives them a lot more personality, even if it obviously it makes absolutely no fucking difference at all. Um, sure, I'll ask her. Hey, you want to uh, you want to come to my court and marry one of my distant relatives? Uh, you know what? That actually might work. Diligent, plus 20. Cool. Invite to court? No? Shit. We still need to send her some gold bollocks. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Did that say a dragon... 
I clicked through it so bloody quickly I didn't even notice it, but I think it said a dragon has just established a lair in Dragonstone, funnily enough. Um, let's go ahead and reset all, and I'm going to search through this and see if I can dig up dragon, um, Alkosh, Berylos, Honestfort, Illyria. I could have sworn they said there was a dragon in... Well, the way we can find out is if you lead an army in the province where there's a dragon, you can face it yourself. Um, right, let's unforbid that, and then... Oh, we can't leave troops because... Oh, we'd have to resign our council position. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to resign our council position just to see if there was potentially a dragon at Dragonstone. Oh, shit, I didn't mean to do that. Who is this? Oh, bollocks. Um, whoopsie daisy. Sorry, my bad. The guy's blind. He's got a fairly decent excuse, I think. Oh, man, a chance at Gregarious. Uh, yeah, I was going to say we don't already have it, do we? So 45% chance. Come on. Hey, nice. We did get stressed as well, but that's all right. That's nothing to worry about. 18. This guy is actually very, very good. He's actually a very well-rounded character. 18 diplomacy, six, uh, sorry, 19 martial, 16 stewardship, and 25 learning. Unfortunately, the for, for, a, for a place that's supposed to be about intrigue and plots, the eight uh, intrigue is not really helping out too much, is it? Never mind. Um, order them seized now. We'll accept the marriage. I, don't, I never want to order anyone seized just in case it's any of our distant relatives or something like that. Can we now bribe you? How much, how much do you want? Please, I'll pay you anything. How much, how much do you want? 25? 15. Go. Send, send the gift. Bring her to my court. Boom. Okay, right. That's a marriage. Uh, I've got to work out who the hell it was who was supposed to be marrying off now. I don't remember. It's like, it was like 35 or something like that. Um, sort by Mathos. That was it. Was it Mathos? There's also Albin, our nephew. Oh, God, we got a lot of people to marry off. Um, we've also apparently got a Lannister in our court. Rupert Lannister. We could kill him for the points, don't forget. Yeah, that was the right guy. Okay, nice, nice work. Sorry to say it, Lord Jeremy. You are getting absolutely nothing. It's a shame I can't actually spend nothing on him. Um, oh shit, they know about Ossifer Martin, our bastard son. Um, ask for legitimization, denounce him. Denounce him, sorry Ossifer Waters, you are, uh, you are no child of mine. Let's see if we can kill off our son's wife and replace her with someone with the Targaryen bloodline. I think, I think that's the right way to go about things here. Even if we can't get someone who's genius, strong, attractive, whatever else. Um, we could... Swap her out for, for those bloodlines, returning back to our dynasty. And I think that is our duty as a Martin, as a descendant of House Targaryen, etc., etc. I think it's worth bringing our bloodlines back into the fold. I'm going to bribe a lot of people. I shouldn't really bribe too many people, seeing as we've already got the good plot power. Um, just want to get it done as soon as possible. Bear in mind, our son is not getting much younger. Ah, there we go. Alice, my conspirator, has sent word that a massive pit of manure has been prepared to blow Alora Rogers the fuck up. She is dead as dicks. Okay, you're not widowed, are you? You are... Shitting yourself to death, though, which is a bit of a concern. Right, so we want to go to us, to our wife, go to our bloodlines, go to Targaryen. And then who have we got? Uh, Alice. Alice Redcheeks. She's unmarried. She's widowed. Ah! Okay, Mark with a special interest. Um, the only other one is Hollis, and she's six. That's a lot of waiting, isn't it? That's a lot of waiting. Um, oh, we got a new stone mason. Um, he's still under the skilled one. Okay, that's fair enough. Shit, well, hopefully she'll deal with it fairly soon. That wasn't me that died a natural death. Okay, fair enough. Um, we'll give her some time, but we might be able to... Oh, hang on. Mental heal? Uh, what's she got? She's got depressed. Let's hit her with a mental heal. Did that help? Well, I cured her depression. She's got 69 opinion, and still that's not enough to convince her to remarry. So, you know what? Lost cause. We'll, we'll, I'll keep a close eye on her and we'll wait for that too. Obviously, it'll take years in game. You can sometimes you get prompted... But I'm pretty sure it's only with your own children. You get prompted for them to remarry. What? That's not even... A shy? <laughs> We've got the mod that supposedly removes the Far East. All it's done is remove, like, Yeeti, uh, the Jogos Nai. But a shy is formed. Wow, that's actually really impressive. Good work, Top Bog. That's actually genuinely quite impressive. Holy shit. What a terrible decision. You can have, you can pick between uh, two good traits or true, two bad traits. Yeah. I mean, obviously, I'm going to take this out to Morin. Uh, well, that's Robert. Who's Morin? We've got Perkin that also needs educating. Oh, that's our... Right, that's our son's son, so our eventual successor. Um, you've got Jeremy. Is this his other son? Perkin? Robert? Who the hell is Morin? Um... I have no idea. Some distant relative anyway. I will mention this very briefly just so that we're all on the same page, but I have been resetting my... Justicia every few years. So, so basically with um, 
fabricating claims. You, the player, get the opportunity to bribe or kill um, chancellors that are trying to do that. Now, the, the AI also gets the same thing. So, say, for example, you have somebody with a really, really high fabricate claim in a, in a province for dozens of years, and they don't fabricate a chancellor, they've been bribed. So, what you can do is remove them and put them back, and it should reset the job, so they should start fabricating the claim again, even if they have been bribed before. They would have to accept a new bribe to be stopping. So, I have been resetting it all this time, but even then, nothing new. Nothing at all. I'm actually genuinely really surprised we haven't picked anything up quite yet. Um, so, Gorman of Dawn is my way to... Ah, we can make an alliance with House Martell. Um, Sir Tyler Lannister. My Sir Tyler Lannister. What a strange way to phrase that. And uh, now, we go for an alliance with... No? Opinion of... Oh, he's got a low opinion of us. Bollocks. Um, send him a gift. Oh, but they're not close enough relatives, perhaps. Yeah, okay. He's also really not down for it because of the political concerns. That's understandable, really. Um, also, yeah, we wouldn't want to do that because we want to invade him um, at some stage. Oh, God, that means they're probably quite powerful. They've got the Stormlands and Dawn. God damn, these... I mean, the Martels have all of that. And then... Oh, so on the plus side, though, it means less of House Baratheon. Um, what do the Baratheons themselves hold? Let's go to the uh, Dynasty map mode. That's always a, a lot more fun to look at. House Oakheart, ridiculously powerful. Um, unfortunately, we don't want to go to... Uh, it would be okay to ally with these guys... But not these ones, because they do count as separate branches of the same dynasty. House Aaron, we're already friends with. Unfortunately, there is no Westerlands right now. We could try and form an alliance with the Starks, but you might remember we made a lot of enemies with the Starks at the start of the campaign. Um, George killed Eddard, which started this whole thing into, into motion right now. Amantha Martin, I don't know, is that another one returned home? Um, Night's Watch, Sympathy for the Eastern Gods. What the fuck? Oh, she arrived in our court, but she left. Oh, she's permanently in the Night's Watch, huh? That's a bit strange. Um, can we, so, so, can we now marry you off? There's no much point in having him unmarried at all. Can we now marry him off to that other person that we were going for? Um, let's go back to these bloodlines a second, see who we can dig up. So it was her, now she's still widowed. To be honest, it might have to be Hollis or Holacy, or however you want to say that name. Um, she's eight, so it's only four more years before she can get married anyway. Downside to that is, though, we're marrying more Martins to Martin. You've got to think of the overall dynasty here. Um, if we married the matrilineal, it makes no fucking difference, though, does it? It keeps the bloodline, and even if it is matrilineal transfer, and they're the same dynasty, so it guarantees the bloodlines will survive even if... Yeah, that's a good idea. Okay, fingers crossed that goes through without, uh, without a hitch. We may have to murder our two grandchildren, though. What we'll do is we'll wait and see. This guy's got really good traits, so I'd rather not do that. We'll wait and see how, um how their kids come out first, if they have any, before we before we start bumping off our other grandchildren. Oh, now this is interesting. Seaguard and the Crossing and Duskendale. Commander Riker, join me. Okay, well, let's go ahead, and we could give this guy a line of We can, like, Drake's Grave or something. Then we could push his duchy level tiles instead of trying to fabricate. I, I, I've decided to kind of start this thing as we're, what, probably, like, halfway through the episode right now when it's edited down. Um, and we've got absolutely no claims still. Genuinely quite surprised. So let's try for a new tactic then. How many of this guy, uh, if we go ahead and claim for, where has he gone? Where the fuck has he gone? Drake's Grave? I want to push your claims. Why, why can't I? Had a claim on Duskendale. There he is. Uh, excuse me. Let's set the game on pause a second. Oh, right. Okay. I don't know if it actually counted as, as having landed him yet. Right. Declare war. Uh, d duchy level titles. We can't? What? We can't push duchy level claims. What the fuck are you talking about? Duskendale. We we actually can't. We'd have to declare it on our... Oh, fuck. Wait, no way. No, no, that's not right. I was going to say, do we have to declare it on top of title? I don't know why, but we can't declare claims for this guy now. We can't push his claims on the other provinces. Oh. Uh, remind me if I'm doing something wrong here. There's not like a crown law we need or anything like that, is there? Not that we have any crown laws anyway. Um, I have no clue. I have absolutely no idea why we can't push that. Bollocks. Well, there goes my plan then. I guess there's no expansion going on today because we've got no fucking claims to push. Um, we could try and fight the Martels. 32,000 men versus 30,000 plus the Vale, assuming they actually back us here. We could, we could try and take what... Oh, we can't even declare War on Dawn. Why? We're in a non-aggression pact. Uh, we'd have to break that, which would be... Not great for relations. Oh, and we're a truce breaker. Oh, fuck. All right. That was the problem. Obviously, we set up that marriage long before they inherited the Stormlands. 
Now that they've inherited that, it's left us in a weird situation. So, oh, God. We haven't got anything we can push whatsoever. You're kidding me. What about now? Titan Child. Now we can push strong claims. Aha! Uh, wait. Oh, no. They've unified into one big realm. Wait, no, they haven't. I feel like I'm losing my mind. I feel like I'm actually losing my mind here. Um, so let me just double check. We definitely can't push claims on that. But we had claims we could press on you, though. Uh, we do. Oh, no, Duchy. Oh, right, to claim, like, High Garden and shit. Damn it. All right. Well, we're going to have to just, unfortunately, sit around and wait. Oh, never mind. There we are. Lordship of Duskendale. Thank you. We'll leave it there. Get a claim on the whole uh, High Lordship. That will let us push for the whole thing anyway. That's many, many, many provinces there. Um, two, three, four, five. And then what's this one? Cracklaw Point, which we already have, so we're supposed to have that one de jour anyway. He did what? Ormond the Talk was transferred the vassalage of Davos the Black Slag of... <laughs> Black Slag? The Black Slag of King's Landing to me? What? Davos Baratheon? Where the fuck's the king of the... <laughs> <gasps> Why have they done that? They gave... Oh, oh my god, I wonder if he usurped it in his... Like a faction uh, demand or something. Inherited, and he just he just took it. He just, he just has it for some reason. And now the king of the Iron Throne holds court in Skagos. Right next to a hard home. Basically beyond the wall. I mean, it is beyond the wall. That's fucking hilarious. That's unbelievable. I don't know why. What? He's got nothing but the lordship of Deep Down. A puppet king through and through. This might be the end of the Iron Throne. More importantly, he gave it to us. King's Landing is ours now. You know what that means. Change of plan. No more Deep Down. Give me King's Landing. We're going to take it. We're going to revoke it. <gasps> she already got it. Oh, the High Lordship. I didn't want the fucking High Lordship. We can't do anything with that. Um... High Lordship, we just obviously revoke the title, but but I want the... It's a maybe. I wonder if he will rebel. We could take the, the High Lordship of King's Landing, sure, but... We need the Lordship. And we can't revoke that one. Uh, and if we revoke the Lordship anyway, his title will fall apart because he hasn't got any other land. We'd already get the... Okay. Um, what? After listening to a group of my bannermen led by Lord Niles Oakheart Silverhill, I've relinquished my position as King of the Westerlands in favour of Lord Niles Hart. What? Oakheart's again? You're telling me they possess all three? What the fuck? Hang on. Oh my god. <laughs> That's a bit frightening. So they've got the Trident, the Westerlands, and the... And, uh... Trident, the Westerlands, and the Reach there. Jesus. Okay. Uh, and this is, of course, Blood of Garth Greenhand. Is this all down to that Tyrell conspiracy we had going? All the weird. Where did House Oakheart come from all of a sudden? Um, Tully's... Far, far back matrilineally. Um, and then Oakheart, Oakheart, Oakheart. Where did they... No, it's just it's just been a, a minor house that has just risen to power. Absolutely insane. I know that I did speak about not long ago, uh, the King of the Iron Throne can take back the Iron Throne whenever the hell they feel like. Uh, I don't know why he's not doing it. I'm, I'm thinking maybe he can't do it. Which is why I'm gonna revoke it for us, which is why I'm investing so much money into being able to revoke this. Oh, God. Lord Paramount Ormory, your lawful liege, King Ormond, hereby summons you to Deep Down, where a ground cat's... Oh, we want to go to halfway to the other side of the planet. We have an interregnum. Are they gonna elect a new king of the... Do you know who they should elect? Your boy Ormory Martin. Do you know why? Because he has a good story. In fact, he has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of the good stories. Come on. What's going on here? Beyond the wall? Oh god, the, the wildlings have unified as well. Our journey to Deep Down is complete. We've arrived at the Grand Council. We've been welcomed by King Orman's hospitality. Once all of the nobles of the Iron Throne have arrived, the feasting shall begin. How exciting. Okay. Well, if nothing else, we can still get this out of it in, in hindsight. Um, I do not care. We're going to revoke Lord Davis's titles anyway. Instead of the venice and the boron all kinds of cheese, I thought, he gave us uh, a chitty dinner. Great. Uh, yeah, the, dis the dishes reflect your temperance. Well done. Very, very well done. It's no big secret that High Septum, the whatever that is, is after my job as the Master of Laws, but he did surprise me when he asked me outright for help. Uh, sure, he asked nicely, and I like him. We became friends with the High Septum. That's a powerful friend to have. High friends in high places, basically the Pope, right? Um, to be honest, everyone else is gunning for this Iron Throne. It feels, this feels like a proper tournament for the Iron Throne. It's the first time the Game of Thrones world has ever really been this 
We've seen such powerful dynasties rise and fall. You know, Tyrells conquered everything. We've got House, Ho House Okart that I thought were related to them, but were, but, uh, but aren't. It's a completely separate coincidence. House Martella taking the Stormlands. House Eren have hung on, despite the fact they were deposed. And same with House Start there. What have we got then? Um, oh, Christ. All right. The feasting is over and the council can begin in earnest. Everyone assembled in the hall. The more notable attendees closest to King Ormond. Lord Paramount Ormory Martin proceeds to read out the king's decree. It proposes an invasion sanctioned by law. An invasion of a foreign land with apparently no claim. Uh, he thinks grandly of himself. I speak against it. Do we want to be dragged into an intercontinental war? Where's he going to invade? Either beyond the wall or he's going to go into Essos. Sure. I shall wait and listen to the arguments. This sounds madness. Lord Joshua had to speak, but it may have been better if he hadn't. A rambling speech in favor of his Ormond planned invasion to rouse any cheering support. Okay. Um, Eldian came to speak for the council. Everyone listened intently, and everyone was persuaded in his favor. Um, so did Grandmaster Lyman. So did Lord Lothar. High Septum was always one that stuck to the... He opposed the invasion on the grounds of law and custom, right? That's reasonable. Um, same with Joris. Uh, Stevron wants to go out and do a big fuck. Women will be bedded, bastards will be spawned. Great, okay. Um, oh god, everyone in the realm gets to speak on it, but I'm not going to read all of them. After hours of debate, King Ormond calls for quiet and then gives a calm, measured speech, giving many sound arguments to why the invasion is justified. The promises of glory and more land appeal to some, rich coming from a man who can't even hold his own province that he is legally beholden to have. No doubt a compelling argument. Lord Dagon was not happy. Fluence for rage and stormed out. Same with Lord Alistair, same with Lady Moline. What do you think? Glory to the Iron Throne and House Baratheon. See how it pans out. Make your displeasure known or storm out. Obviously, we hate House Baratheon. They might not hate us, but we hate them. House Martin never forgets. I'm going to say we'll see how it pans out. But we don't want to be the only... Say all the other High Lords back it. Ah! Our ally, Damon Arryn, stormed out. Do we stand in an alliance... And actually back him and storm out and make it known that, that we hate House Baratheon. Or do we stick to our guns and play the middle ground? Bear in mind, we are also his justicia. We can do more damage to them on the council. I think let's go the diplomatic play. Let's go the Machiavellian play. See how it pans out. Time has come to leave deep down to home where we must now prepare for war. The people voted it in. We didn't, we didn't influence it one way or another, but the people have voted for war to be declared. All right, let's see how it goes then. What is going on? Is this the war? Uh, he is doing an invasion of Beyond the Wall. What a complete waste of time. To be fair, let's call it a preemptive strike against the uh, the Wildlings. The downside to that is White Walkers are due any time now. So I wouldn't be surprised if he gets immediately clapped by them. Uh, to defend my lead, is my duty. I'm going to say, sure, we'll back you. We're not going to do anything, but... Sure, we'll, we'll agree to send some troops. Oh, God. What's he declared war on us for? Oh, he's just gone into rebellion. Oh, well, that's interesting. Because bear in mind, we wanted him to go into rebellion anyway. So that we could provoke King's Landing. That couldn't have been any more perfect. All right, fair enough. Let's let's destroy him. I had my retinues already in place. Just ready to, <laughs> ready to go to war and actually take King's Landing from him. If we can win this... <gasps> Sep Sephiroth? Es established alone in Dragonstone. Okay. Um... If we can win this, which we should be able to fairly easy, we can revoke the title from him because he's a traitor. Oh, it, it left Dragonstone. Oh, no, it's built a lair in Dragonstone. My bad. Um, 31%. Wow, okay. This is... He's just given us King's Landing on a silver platter. And that means that we'll actually... Even if we don't technically have the Iron Throne, we'll control the Iron Throne. It's, it's a part of our domain at that stage. Just dogpile him. It was a little bit risky, I will admit, but let's just dogpile it. We're dead. Complications from being blinded. What? Okay. Uh, now we are Lord Matha of the Crownlands. The hedonist, diligent. Actually, his traits are very good. Um, Jim about him being fucking possessed, though. How the hell did he pull that one off? What a mess. Um, okay, well, let's immediately marry our wife, um, Holly Smartin. And then we'll also set us as her educator. Gain a little bit of opinion, as fucked up as that is. Uh, wow. Wow. Shocking. And we lost the Cass's Bella against... Fuck. Maybe we can imprison him because he rebelled against the realm. Even even if we don't get King's Landing, we might still be able to, to imprison him for that. Yeah. Boom. Nice. Uh, can we revoke it? He's a traitor. 
These are traitor vassals, not object. Give me that. And then, can I also take King's Landing? Oh, because he's got another fucking high lordship. Bollocks, he must have inherited it or pressed it in the meantime. Well, that's quite frustrating. Um, great, we lost all our gold as well. Don't inform me that in the future. And a small private funeral will suffice. Sorry, father, can't afford it because all your cash went to every other bloody relative but us. See the mantle of George. Thank you very much. And let's go out. Why not? Um, oh, no, I'll you your own workshop. Thought we might as well try and gain fire obsessed there. Um, groom and air. That seems like a pretty good idea. Shit. Well, look, we're close to getting King's Landing. I've just got to find a way to execute him. Call him for trial. Maybe we can revoke it after that. Champion. He wants to try by combat. Oh, excellent. Okay. Um, what's our personal combat skill? 50. Um, right, okay. So we've got 70, 50, 115. Wow. Darren Newell, our, our distant relative. Fight well. Please don't die. Oh, he's been slain. Ah, cool. Okay. Um, right now, let's try and get King's Landing back. Good God. What a what a roundabout way to do that, huh? Um, just gotta just gotta hope that it works now. Oh shit! Never mind. King's Landing is the right of domain of the King of the Iron Throne. I demand that its returns to be forthwith. All right. Never mind. Um, I'm glad in hindsight we didn't pull that off. What a complete that whole thing was for absolute fucking nothing. What a goddamn mess. Well, on the plus side though, these guys have split again. So now we haven't got a massive enemy surrounding us, but my god. Look at that. This is so this is this is unbelievable. Have you broken free? Um we can get to your claims on it. Fuck it. I'm gonna take that one. We've gotta get something to show for all of this, right? Claims not being fabricated, King's Landing coming into our realm and then being taken out of our domain again. We've had nothing to show for all of this 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 claim fabrication or anything. We've got the high lordship of King's Landing. Oh, we even took that back too. Oh, well, fuck. We, we got absolutely nothing to show for it at all. So, that sucks. <laughs> that really sucks. I knew it was going to happen, but I wasn't expecting him to actually act on it. I thought maybe the hour was a, a little more lenient to it, but apparently not. Nice. There we go. Okay. Goodbye. Well, it's something. It's still not fantastic, but it is a good start. We need to start packing these claims in. It feels like episodes and episodes and episodes I've been trying to grab this land. I don't know why we couldn't push the duchy level claims. I don't know why... I don't know why nothing's worked, <laughs> to be honest with you. They've changed more mechanics than I realized. Uh, is there any... We, we still can't push to your claims now. Nope, unfortunately not. Not for any of our landed vassals, anyway. Maybe landed vassals you can't push. Or maybe within your own realm you can't do it either. I have absolutely no clue. Thank you all for watching. A disappointing day for the Martin dynasty. You know, not every, not every, not every adventure can be a complete success. You know, we can't just expect to get the whole trident in one foul swoop. But tomorrow, I may... Do a bit more heavy editing until we get something worth showing off. Because we got single county. Great. We got fucking Bramsfoot. That's really not what we're after. We missed out on, on King's Landing, but they would have just revoked it anyway. The good news is these guys have broken down a little bit more. It's not just one gigantic unit that they've split. I don't know. I don't know why we couldn't push those claims. That, that completely uh, blindsided me, to be honest with you. If I'd have known that that was the case, I would have gone in with a bit of a better plan with this one. But hey, hopefully we can fabricate. All we've got to do, bear in mind, is just get two claims. You've just got to fabricate the base level claim on the county, then the slightly higher level claim on the duchy. From there, we'll see how it goes. Thank you all for watching. A big shout out goes to Cyric313, Alex, Michael Mullen, Crow Skull, Northern Bear, Justin Wallace, The One Ring, James Shea, Fukuna Vasquez, Asana Kirito, Skaz, Chesty, Atmos, and everyone else at the Insane Tier Lovers on Patreon for making the channel possible, especially during the next few months. Bigs, thank you to these guys. Much appreciated. And a thank you as well goes out to, if I can actually get to the right list here, a big thank you goes out as well to Chronic Blob, Shittle Dirt, Brittany Lee, Tiger Rifter, Udrick Hannon, Adrian Eliasson, Tempe, Calron24, Choma, Gaz, Bobka, Shardul, Night Rouge, Mr. Awesome, Ryan Hooper, and everyone else at Patreon well. Thank you guys for your support making the channel possible in the first place. I'm going to go and have a drink. This was, uh, this was, a, this was a stressful episode.